Nigel Farage has given his first ever speech in the Commons as leader of Reform UK. This is what he said. I now call the leader of Reform UK, Nigel Farage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mr Speaker, thank you very much indeed. We are the new kids on the block. We have no experience in this parliament whatsoever even though some of us have tried many times over the years previously to get here. So we can't judge you from working in this place, but we can judge you from the way the outside world sees you. And I don't just mean the United Kingdom, I mean the world, because Prime Minister's Questions Time is global box office politics. Douglas, he's got them all rattled already and he's only just begun. What sort of a force do you think Nigel Farage will be in UK Parliament? It's going to be very interesting. I mean, I, gosh, what a frosty reception he got there. There weren't very many convivial, comradely cheers, were there? Um, uh, I suspect he will, and if he's wise, he will use the opportunity as a really remarkable platform. Um, there are uh, there are lots of things that can happen from here for Farage and the other reform MPs. Uh, they could be a sort of nuisance block. Uh, they could make noise, use it as a platform, uh, like Farage very, very cleverly did the EU Parliament uh, to effectively broadcast to a wider audience. Um, or they could use it to coalition build, to friend build. Uh, they could, uh, they could do an awful lot of things. They can cause trouble, but they can do lots more than cause trouble as well. Uh, the problem is that the size of the Labour majority is such that I suspect that in the coming years, the main opposition to the Labour front bench will be the back benches of the Labour Party, uh, because everyone else has very little voting sway in them. Yeah, that's a, a really fair point. Uh, Douglas, before we let you go, I just want to ask you about the situation in France where riots and violence have erupted after the left defeated the far right in an unexpected victory. Now, this is on the streets of Paris. <laughs> just shocking scenes and we also saw the far left clash with police as they celebrated the victory. Douglas, you know, the far left are just as dangerous, if not more dangerous than the fringe right. But what does it tell you when you see these scenes unfolding right now? You know, it's, it's, it's the fault of Macron for his hubris. Uh, Paris is about to host the Olympics. What a sign to the world. I mean, there were already serious security concerns about the Paris Olympics before this election season began. But look at this. The world's eyes are going to be on Paris. And we see this, a, a, a city where in order to keep out Marine Le Pen, uh, uh, they decided the centre and the centre-left decided to unite in voting in the Mélenchonists who have at the top of their list people who are supporters of Hamas. I mean, there's more anti-Semitism and racism from the far left in France now than there is from the from the, the parties that are called far right. Um, and they get away with it and they riot on the streets and they, they break stuff up. And, you know, my belief is that political extremism can, can, can come from any direction. The French seem to have forgotten this. They seem to think the far left, you know, can be regarded as a benign force. It can't be. Uh, Macron has unleashed terrible forces and... Uh, it's astonishing for a man who came gl glided into office on his um, alleged ability to sort of bring people together. It's amazing what we see at the end of his career. Yeah, good point. And you're right, what a way to welcome uh, the worldwide athletes as well as the tourists right now to Paris and France. Douglas Murray, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be with you. Thank you.